What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp Extrusion Tools tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about a tool containing extrusion tools that allows you to take pairs of edges and create shapes from them. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So sometimes you'll run across a really powerful tool in SketchUp and it's a little hard to put into words exactly what it does and what you would use it for, but once you kind of understand what it does, there's a lot of interesting uses for it and this is one of those tools. So um, basically what this tool does is it takes two sets of grouped edges and then it creates a mesh from them. So like for example, if I have a pair of group curves like this one, if I run extrude edges by edges, what it's going to do is it's going to create a face it's going to use one of these and extrude it along the other in order to create a shape. And it's going to give you a number of options when you do this, like orienting faces, reversing faces, things like that. Um, erasing coplanar edges, and you can also make these triangular faces if you want. And so you can see how what this did is this took this curved shape and it extruded it along this edge. So in a lot of ways it works a lot like extrude edges by rails, but the edges don't necessarily have to be touching in this case. So the nice thing about this though is this allows you to create some really interesting things. But first of all I want to point out that the way this works, um, and we'll go ahead and erase these out real quick, the way this works is you need two groups. So like for example, if I was to draw a pair of curves, like this, you couldn't select these two and run this tool. It's going to give you an error because these need to be groups of edges. So if you're working with curves, what you need to do is ex explode these into their individual uh, pieces and then right click and group them. You can do the same thing over here. and you can group those edges, then this tool would work. So that's the first thing I want to point out is the that's the way that that's going to work. And as I work through these different menus, the other thing I wanted to point out, and I don't know why this puts these off to the side like that, but it does. It just takes them and it kind of puts them both together. The other thing I want to point out is the orientation of each shape is going to matter in this case. So like for example, over here, I ran this and you can see how this took this and it maintained the orientation as it extruded it along this curve over here. Well in this case, since this had an orientation that was over here, you can see how it's not really doing the follow me tool thing where your arc would remain facing outward the entire time. Instead, this stays facing to the right the whole way. So this creates different kinds of shapes because of that. And you also get some interesting kind of distortion as it moves this along this face. So you'll notice this is pretty much flat right here or close to flat. And so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for this kind of use. However, what gets really interesting is when you start taking shapes like these two and using this tool on those. So if I was to select these two and run this shape, it's going to ask if I want to orient the faces, no, reverse faces, no, we'll say no on all these. But in this case, you can see how what this did, if we move this back over towards our shapes right here, is this actually took this curve and it extruded it up and across along this stepping shape. So you can see how you can create a really interesting kind of intersecting shape by doing that. And you can do that with more complex things as well, like these two right here. If I was to intersect these, and we'll go ahead and click Orient Faces, that's very useful because it'll get all your faces um, facing in the right direction. And then we'll say no to the rest of these. You can see how this creates this really complex face where these two shapes kind of intersect and extrude along each other. Um, so you can do really cool things with this extension once you start getting an idea of the way that works. And so that's kind of the best use I've found for it, is when you take two things like these shapes, and you run this tool, you can use this to kind of intersect these across the middle to create interesting things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to uh, create. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Can you think of some uses for this extension? I'd love to have that conversation with you guys and see what you guys could come up with. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.